Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to morning prayer. This is Monday, the second week in Advent, and it's my our morning prayer today begins on page oops, begins on page 146. Let's join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son came to visit us in great humility, that on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hark, a thrilling voice is sounding. Christ is near, it seems to say. Cast away the works of darkness, O ye children of the day. Wakened by the solemn warning, from the darkness we rise. Christ, our sin, all ill dispelling, shines upon the morning skies. Lo, the Lamb, so long expected, comes with pardon down from heaven. Let us haste with tears of sorrow, one and all to be forgiven. So when next he comes in glory, wrapping all the world in fear, may he with his mercy shield us and with words of love draw near. Psalm 98. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds. His right hand has won a mighty victory. His holy arm has shown his saving power. The Lord has announced his victory and has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing your praise to the Lord with the harp with the harp and melodious song, the triumphs of the sound of the ram's horn. Make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the earth and all living things join in. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord. For the Lord is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is from Isaiah. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of all, the most important place on earth. It will be raised above all the, the other hills, and people from all over the world will stream there to worship. People from many nations will come and say, Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Jacob's God. There he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the Lord's teachings will go out from Zion. His word will go out from Jerusalem. Behold, God has come to save me. I will trust in him. I will not be afraid. Yahweh Elohim is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy you will drink freely from the fountain of salvation. In that wonderful day you will sing, thank Yahweh, praise his name. Tell the nations what he has done. Proclaim what is, that his name is exalted. 
Sing praise to Yahweh, for he has done wonderful things. Let this be known throughout the world. Let all the people of Jerusalem shout and sing with joy. For God is he who lives among us, the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord. Be merciful and hear our prayer. King of peace, you beat swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks. Put an end to strife and grant us your peace. Prince of justice, you vindicate the poor. Bring just judgment for the meek of the earth. Lord of truth, your ways are not our ways. Deepen the faith of your people. Judge the peoples. You will come upon the earth with clouds and power of glory. Grant us grace of your mercy. Redeemer of the world, you save your people and rescue them. Let your word shine upon those who have died. And Lord, hear the prayers of your people. I pray for St. Martin's mission, O Lord, for the ministry that you do here through us. May we continue to reach out to those who can't come and who don't come. May you be a blessing to those who are here and always fill this place with your presence. We pray for Abbot Bernard for continued healing for him. Grant him your peace, grant him your grace. And we pray, Lord, that soon he'll be able to come to the U.S. Father, we pray for our churches in India that you've called them into our community. May they grow and flourish. We pray, O oh Lord, for our bishops, for our priests, for our deacons. We pray, O oh Lord God, that they serve you with gladness and with cheerfulness of heart, always putting you first. And help us during this Advent season to keep our eyes focused on you. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant, O Lord our God, that we may await with eager hearts the coming of Christ, our, your Son, so that when he knocks, you will find us watching praying and singing his praises. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways, and our day in his peace. May souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters, thank you so much for being with me this day in prayer. May the Lord bless you this day in all things. And may you turn around and be a blessing to someone else. And during this Advent season, give of your love and share with them the love of Christ. God's peace to you and your family.